Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can hold down a button when you are clicking on it. So right now I have my whirl button. When I click on it, it makes it so that it whirls this picture, but I wanna make it so that I can just press down and hold and it'll keep whirling until I let go. So to do that, I'm going to actually use a new kind of control block that we haven't used before, or at least I haven't shown you in a video and I'm going to put my broadcast inside of it. So we're going to repeat doing this thing until we're no longer pressing the mouse. So to make it do the not touching or not pressing the mouse, we're going to use this operator, not, and then we're going to use uh, the sensing block that says mouse down. So now when, uh, let me show this in big screen mode. So when I click and hold, it's going to keep whirling until I let go. And then I click and hold and let go. So it's working exactly the way I wanted it to. So let me walk through the code real quick. When I click, it's gonna repeat broadcasting whirl until we're no longer pressing the mouse down. Um, so now our button is making so we can basically press and hold it. Now we can actually combine this with some other buttons that we've got. So for instance, the color, right now when I press the color, it changes the color of the picture, which is great. But I can actually um, make it so that I can put this inside of a repeat until so control and repeat until color. And we need to use our other two blocks, not mouse down. Okay, so now this code is a little bit fancier than the other one, but it makes it so that it, when it's clicked, it sets the size to 75, it plays a pop sound, it repeats this so that it gets a little bit smaller, and then it's going to keep holding down the color, color, color until we let go. And as soon as we let go, the button goes back to the normal size. So this makes it look like we're actually pressing the button down and then it's coming back up when we let go. So let me show you what that looks like. So now when I press and hold it, it's going to change the color. And then as soon as I let go, it's going to stop changing the color. And it makes it so that this button gets smaller when I click and then it gets bigger when I let go, just like that. So add code like this into your project, either this more complicated version, so it looks like the button's getting pressed down, or this simple version where you're simply saying, repeat whatever it is you want to do until you're not pressing the mouse down. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.